It's Wendy, Wendy Smiling. Um, I wanted to tell you, I was doing uh, lemon juice fast, lemonade fast, and I decided to break it today. Well, I got a package in the mail from my good friend Shannon in Bellingham, Washington. And she has Internal Harmony on Lincoln Street in Bellingham, Washington. Um, InternalHarmonyCenter.com, anybody that lives around the Seattle, North Seattle area, go see her. She is a certified colon hydrotherapist, infrared sauna, ionic foot bath, health counselor, beautiful person, so go see her. So, I got this package in the mail today and I'm really excited because this right here, if you can see this, brownies that I made for my family, but they're not tempting me because I got this in the mail today and it probably doesn't look like much from there. Can you see it? These are chocolate kale chips and I almost, I had to make a video because I almost ate the whole freaking bag before I could even set the camera up. They're really, really good. And then I got I gotta get that recipe for sure. I got some other kale chips, and I don't know what these are. I gotta call her and ask her, but I think they might be ranch, and those are real good too. But I have never even heard of sweet kale chips before, and they're amazing. Um, so what all do I have to tell you today? Um, juice feasting. The International Day of Juice Feasting is coming up. I know everybody is aware of it, but here's another video plugging it on the 17th of September. Dave the Raw Food Trucker. Um, I have been saving my pennies and I'm going to be going out there. And I am very, very excited. It's going to be a wonderful time. And I can't wait to see some trees. So excited to be going to Washington. I haven't been there since I was 18 years old, and I want to go stand next to some trees and do some big time tree hugging. Um, I am doing, um, I'm breaking this today. Tomorrow night uh, is a book signing at Matthew Kenny OKC. And so last time I did that, I was in the middle of my juice feast and I had juice, and this time I am going to eat the food and it's going to be great. So I'm going to be starting, I'm doing more of a fast than a feast this time on this little leg of my journey and I'm going to be doing um, a hot lemonade which is lemons, pure water, um, cayenne pepper and stevia and then green juices along with that. And I'm probably not even going to wait till August 1st to start that. I'm probably going to start that Saturday. I've been doing that, but not extensively, um, just for a few days. And I decided to break it because I got these. Um, so anyway, uh, the International Day of Juice Feasting, I hope that you all will watch. I hope that you all have a juice. Hi to everybody at Raw Food Rehab. Hi, Penny. Hi, Dave. Um, and... Uh, I guess that's it for now. Um, I'm doing very, very well right now and um, just excited about everything. This leg of um, the initiative at Raw Food Rehab and my brain just went raw reform. Uh, this week has been concentrating um, on exercise, or was it last week, concentrating on exercise, forgive me, I can't remember, I'm kind of staying in the now. Um, so I have upped that and gave myself a goal, I have it posted on Facebook, um, trying to kick out 200 miles over the initiative, and so I started incorporating jogging, and um, today I ran my first mile. I don't even know if you want to call it running, it's kind of like a slow jog, and it's a way of starting to jog that um, my hand therapist uh, told me about. She's a marathon runner. 
and uh, so I started doing that and I hit my first mile today my calves are a little bit sore and my husband could probably out walk me at my jogging pace but I did it and it was a mile and this was like groundbreaking for me and I'm getting up it's been it was 110 degrees yesterday and um, it was 106 in the shade in my car today and so I'm getting up at 4:15 in the morning and I'm kicking my exercise out primarily in the mornings and then um, my coach Lanita uh, good friend of mine that is on I think she just hit 875 right 170 miles for the year she's doing 1500 miles this year just walking so she is helping me and I'm walking with her in the malls in the evening and uh, so anyway I got that goal out ahead of me and the exercise really helps the endorphins really help um, I encourage any of you even if it's a half hour a day even if it's 15 minutes a day even if it's just walking or stretching in your living room or whatever to do some type of movement because it really helps with the endorphins. I was really surprised. I never really got the endorphin rush thing. I mean, I've walked before, and I've never really felt it. I never really understood what other people were talking about. Um, and you don't really necessarily feel high, but you have an energy boost. And I figured that people felt it while they did it. And it's not really what I feel while I'm exercising that is so dramatic. What is so dramatic is the feeling of wellness and the feeling of energy stays with you the entire day. I walked at 5 o'clock this morning, it is 8 o'clock at night, and I still feel it. So, um, and I did, I only did two and a half, two and a half miles this morning. So, you don't have to do that much. I mean, for me, it was about 40 minutes, that's all the time I had before I had to start getting ready for work. But anything that you can do even if it's a small goal even if it's 10 minutes a day and you can kick it out every single day to give yourself some encouragement of not being in the setting your goal too high and then feeling like you failed because you can't keep up like you set a goal I'm gonna walk an hour a day or I'm gonna walk 45 minutes a day and then you fail or feel like you failed because you missed a day or a week or you can't keep up with the goal that you set for yourself I mean back when I weighed 240 plus pounds I set a goal of five minutes a day and I could keep that up grocery shopping and it gave me a sense of empowerment to set such a small goal because I could increase it at any time I wanted or any time I went over I was doing more than my goal so sometimes um, when you're very first starting out it kind of helps to do a real small goal because it gives you empowerment kind of a little mind trick but it really helps you feel like you're not failing or doesn't put you in that trap of feeling like you're failing so anyway um, I love you all thank you all very much um, I will try to get into posting some more videos um, I had a schedule change and a job change and I've been pretty tired and I'm starting to feel a little bit better now so hopefully I'll feel like I have some more things to say and be posting some more videos and um, get your greens on and have the best day ever to coin Philip McCluskey. Bye.